Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today it's a match reaction, it's Luton Town versus Reading. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Luton's 0-0 draw against Reading. Now, like any other match reaction, I do talk about before the game, at half time and at full time. So before the game, looking at that lineup in itself for Luton, I thought it was a good lineup. I thought that lineup was good enough to get something from the game, which as we all know, it did. And I didn't think you could drop any players after the Derby Day win, you know, it didn't make sense to drop any players. But before the game, Luke Berry did pull up with an injury during the warm up, and Tunnicliffe had to come in. And I still, I don't know what to make of Tunnicliffe's performance. I don't know if he did a good enough job. Like he's a good passer on the ball, but apart from that, I don't know what else he offered. And he did later come off during the game. But um, we'll talk about the overall game now. The first half performance, I thought we slightly edged it over Reading. I thought we created the better chances. I thought we defended quite well. Every time Reading went forward, we made sure to press them and obviously counter-attack them. And like, yeah, just hit them on the break, really. And I thought we'd done that quite well. It was just the final ball at times, just letting us down slightly or us trying to do that extra pass when it just wasn't needed. But overall, in the first half, I thought we went in at the break the better team. And then in the second half, I still felt we were the better team. I felt we we basically allowed Reading to come into the game too much in the second half. I think the moment we brought on Glenn Ray, that was the moment I kind of knew that we were just playing for a draw. And we were just, if we was going to score a goal it would have been hitting him on the break, which I didn't really like. I felt we should have gone a little bit more positive in that sense. Like Nathan Jones, he brought on George Monker and Harry Cornick and took off Luala Watt and Clark. Why not be more positive and maybe bring Morrell on, who's got more of an attacking mindset than Glenn Ray does? I wasn't quite sure on the reasoning behind bringing Glenn Ray on. Of course, you want to keep the clean sheet. You don't want to lose the game. But for us, we're not really playing for anything. We just want to finish as high as we can. And I just felt Morel should have came on in the second half, not Glenn Ray. But despite Glenn Ray coming on, he did have a chance himself. He, he had a chance from the corner. That's probably maybe the reason why Glenn Ray came on. He gave us that aerial threat. I'm not too sure, but he did have a good chance to score for Luton. And then the likes of George Moncur, I felt he should have scored with his chance, I believe. Pelly, who like created that chance with his energy in the midfield throughout the game, it was excellent, to be fair. For me, I know Naismith is going to get all the praise because he was. it was a very good performance from Naismith. I just don't think... He was man of the match. I think Pelly was. I thought he's tackling, he's pressing, his energy. I thought the last two games we have seen what Pelly Ruddock brings to this team. And he's been outstanding. And for me, he was my man of the match. He was brilliant. Towards the end, he did get a little bit tired. And when Pelly gets tired, we all know he makes silly passing like mistakes. But overall, I thought Pelly was the man of the match. But as I was saying... Pelly set up George Moncur for that chance. And yeah, I think Moncur should have um, scored that opportunity. He forced a good save out of the keeper, but I still think he should have got that in. You know, that's a good enough chance there. Looking at Reading and the chances they created, they obviously had to go for it, you know, if they want to be in those playoff places. I do believe Barnsley got a win, so that's two points clear. Our Barnsley go ahead of Reading in the table and also Bournemouth got a very good away win to Millwall so Reading ideally needed to beat us and fair play to Luton we was very competitive throughout the game we didn't make it easy for them I thought we were the better side if I'm being honest I think if someone was going to win that game it should have been Luton I don't remember Sluga making a save to be fair and we defended quite well I thought we defended really well against their attacking players and they just didn't really cause Luton any problems like they did have that threat but I felt Luton dealt with it quite well and it was a very good defensive performance by Luton 
I just felt towards the like towards the end we should have just carried on. You know, don't um, drop your standard, but um, we ended up getting the point. You can't really moan too much. I think from now until the end of the season, it's just to finish as high as we can. The good news is for Luton that is we are above Stoke in the Championship table, which, as all Luton fans know, it would be very funny and very good achievement if Luton could finish above Stoke. Obviously, Nathan Jones used to manage them. Reese Norrington Davis actually less left Luton to join Stoke because he wanted to push for that playoff push well play, well, get into those playoff play, like places so that would be funny if he actually finishes below Luton so yeah it's, it's a weird one but I feel like overall it was a good performance I'm happy with the way we have performed in our last two home games let's see if we can continue this types of performances from now until the end of the season. I think the 4 3 3 works very well with our current squad. The balance in the midfield is there. You know, going forward, we look dangerous and defensively, we look very good at the back. So it's a good system, and I hope we carry on playing that system from now until the end of the season. We've got Bristol City on the Sunday. I don't know what to make of Bristol City. I know they did lose against Wickham Wanderers, but I hope. Basically, I just hope we just continue playing well, really. Like I said, we've got nothing to really to play for, which we kind of all wanted this um, like before the season started. So, yeah, let's just see how high we can finish in the championship and go from there. But, yeah, guys, that is my overall like thoughts on the Reading game. Let me know what you think about the game. Um, let me know who your man of the match was. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy my match reaction. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and then I'll see you guys in the next video.